question. Hello, my name is Gabe and I'm one half of the band Delver. This is a breakdown of our most popular song, Dusk. Dusk was our first single of the year and we will be breaking down our other two songs, Night Sea and Collide later, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos. Also, we stream performances of all of our music over on Twitch, so be sure to check out our channel after this video. Twitch.tv slash Delver Music. Let's just jump right into the song. Uh, we open the song with guitar, so I figured that's probably a good place to start. This is how it opens here. And there are actually two guitar parts going on here. So the first one is clean sounding electric guitar. And that's this one here. And accompanying that is an actual acoustic guitar that we recorded as well. And together those sound like this. Now those are kind of filtered here at the beginning, but when the verse part comes in, you'll hear they actually take that filter off and you'll be able to hear them a lot more present. Uh, the only other thing that we have that comes in here as well is a bass guitar, which sounds like this. And then as that filter comes off for those guitar parts, it sounds like this. So you can hear all those guitars get more present, more alive once that filter comes off. So that's it for the guitars for the verses, but what about the chorus parts? So first off, during the chorus, the bass gets a secondary bass guitar added to it. So here's what that sounds like with both of those together. So you can hear that secondary bass has a lot more distortion on it, a lot more grit. You can see I have it labeled in the Ableton project as grit bass. And uh, that just kind of adds to the punch of the chorus there. Other than that, the guitars get a lot more airy and spaced out as far as the chords go. So the acoustic is just playing the regular chords for the chorus here. Nothing special there. The uh, electric also plays those chords to accompany with it. just like that. And then finally, we introduce a guitar lead for that chorus that kind of drives a counter melody of sorts for the vocals. All right, so now we can move on to our drums. So the drums in this song are a pretty standard, I'd say trap style drums. Uh, that are really popular with pop music. Uh, they start filtered down just like the rest of the verse does. And when they come in, here's what they sound like. So yeah, not a whole lot going on there. Pretty simple as far as drums are concerned. And uh, all we have is just that simple trap beat. The little hi-hat thing comes in halfway through and kind of pulls the beat together for the second half of the verse. And then for the choruses, it's just more of the same. Uh, second chorus though, we add kind of at the end of the double chorus. Uh, a tambourine part just to kind of give it a little bit of an offbeat feel. And that sounds like this. So 
So that just kind of provides a counter, an offbeat for the main rhythm. Uh, I really like adding that at the very end, really drives it home for that double chorus outro, provides just enough variety to not get bored for that, that double chorus there. Um, so that's it for the drums. Nothing too crazy going on there. Where it gets wild is this thing down here that I call the effects group. And I use an effects group to just kind of lump everything together if it's a sound that doesn't really fit within any of the other groups that are already in the song. So for this one, for instance, we've got these kind of interesting sounding reverse percussion parts. They sound like weird little clicks that kind of reverse into the main beat. Um, together with the main drums, though, it sounds really cool and it kind of serves to fill in the gaps between the rhythm. See what I mean? It's very rhythmic, very interesting. They're panned all weird, so they come in from different angles in your headphones. I really like doing this in, in my songs. Uh, I add just kind of these weird kind of textures that sit underneath the drums and just support the rhythm. So um, that's what most of this group is doing. A lot of these are just noise and risers and things like that. Just very simple quick risers, all with different textures so that when they layer onto each other, you get a really nice full sound. The only other thing in this effects group that I'd like to mention is this vinyl sound. It's just kind of a wide stereo vinyl crackle sample. It's just kind of some neat textures that you kind of pick up on really subtly in the background. Um, so from there, after that effects group, we've got our sub bass just to support the main bass guitar and give it that really uh, heavy 808 trap feel on here. Just have a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of overdrive, a tiny bit of EQ and a side chain on there to tie it together with that kick drum. So all together, the sub, the drums and the effects group really make up the rhythm of the song. Here's what they sound like all together. So that's the rhythm section. So next up we have our synth group, which is one of my favorite parts uh, it's just a pretty simple uh, super saw type synth with just a little bit of a filter action. So this is how that sounds. So just the saw playing the chords of the song, the chorus there and the filter kind of opening and closing dynamically as we go. Next up, we've got pretty uh, simple piano doing almost the same thing, but in addition to that, we've got a, a little bit of a counter melody playing on top of the piano chords as well. Sweet. So pretty simple, just the synth of the piano holding down the chords, uh, really filling in that kind of mid range area as well. And then we've got everybody's favorite part, the vocals. So our main vocal track is fairly dry, just a little bit of reverb and echo on here and a standard uh, nectar uh, setting here. And this is what that sounds like. Broken pieces falling through my hands that's the verse and here's the chorus can you give me what i ask for am i asking too much of you when the sun's gone down on our dreams girl is there any more that i can do 
So not a whole lot going on for that main vocal part. But when we get down to this harmony vocal, we've got a lot of, um, there's a lot of like vocoder stuff and uh, different layers of the harmony going on. And to get that, I use the, uh, the VST called Isotope Vocal Synth. Uh, it sounds really robotic, really futury, uh, very poppy, and uh, I'm really into this sound. Sounds like this. Can you give me what I asked for? Am I asking too much of you? When the sun's gone down on our dreams, girl, is there any more? Than so that's what that sounds like. Uh, we've also got kind of a, a sunken down backing vocal track that's panned very stereo. And that just kind of supports that main vocal, gives it a little bit more attitude in the background there. It's it's a, it's almost like a whispered vocal. Mark's vocals kind of got toned down uh, in terms of the, the emphasis for this backing vocal. Uh, it sounds like this. Can you give me what I asked for? Am I asking too much of you? When the sun's gone down on our dreams, girl, is there any more that I can do? It's a very toned down backing vocal part there. And last but not least for the actual uh, chorus section here, we've got a high harmony for that last line when Mark sings, is there any more that I can do? This high part comes in like this. Girl, is there any more that I can do? Very, very pop uh, sound there. Uh, very uh, pitch corrected sound. I really like it a lot. It, it adds quite a bit to that top emphasis on that line there. So, uh, and then we've got a couple uh, other tracks down here that I've labeled as ah, ah one and ah two. Those are during the chorus. They're just kind of fun backing vocals for the chorus parts. So this is what those sound like. Here we go. Uh. And then we've got a higher one that sounds like this. And all together, those sound like this. All right, so all the vocals together for that chorus part, here's what they sound like. Can you give me what I asked for? Am I asking too much of you? When the sun's gone down on our dreams, girl, is there any more that I can do? So that is the chorus vocals there. Um, that's pretty much it for the song. Uh, again, this is the unmixed and unmastered version. So from this point, all we would have to do is send the tracks over to our mix and master engineer. He would do his thing and send us the final versions back. If you want to hear that final mixed and mastered version, it's out now on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you get your music. Links are down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our other two song breakdowns coming up for Night Sea and Collide, our other two singles. Also make sure you're following us on Twitch so you don't miss a live show where we perform this and many other of our original songs live for you to see. Uh, we hope to see you there and uh, thanks for watching.